Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Delaney, if it's first time clicking on my videos. Today we're gonna be talking about September game releases. I feel like this second half of the year has just been filled with so many like new games that I'm interested in. But then there's my backlog back there staring at me from the corner. But <laughs> I do want to talk about a few games releasing to look out for that's coming out in September. So um, I compiled a little list of some that I'm interested in. This isn't in, like all of the games releasing in September. All these games are like cross platform. So they're like not all like just on the Switch or just on the PC. Hey, before I get started, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I have to keep always making sure to say this. Um, I do live stream, cozy gaming vlogs, and just chilling over here in the corner of the internet. So if you like the vibes, then you know, smash the like button and the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet um but let's get started so first game on the list so this one is ace attorney's investigations collection it's a remaster of the original versions i can't remember when they released but i know they were like one of them got english ported over before another one was always just a japan release so this would be the first time we get both of them it's about miles edgeworth and like his career as a prosecutor but also you get to have a choice between like having the original pixel sprites and switching over to like the HD remaster um, character sprites, which I think is cool. You can do a lot of investigation, similar to all the other Ace Attorney series. Look through crime scenes, find investigate, find clues. So the next game on the list is called The Plucky Squire. So you jump between these two worlds. It's kind of like a storybook action adventure. It kind of gives me a little bit of like a Zelda vibe to it. The story of Plucky Squire is follows the adventure of Jaw and his friends. They realize they're in a book, which is very meta and they end up finding this 3d world but then what happens is the villain of their book wizard humgrum realizes that he is actually the villain and he kicks them out of the storybook so now you um jot and his friends have to figure out how to save the world by jumping between the 2d and 3d worlds and i think this like, sounds very interesting if it's able to pull off like that 3d 2d mechanic and like really well it kind of reminds me of like a link to worlds like a link with, between worlds where they, they also do that like 2d 3d thing but i feel like this could work really well next game on the list is disney epic mickey rebrush so this is actually a remake you journey through a wasteland with mickey mouse in the realm of a forgotten disney character mickey is equipped with his brush and paint thinner and he's able to shape the world around him i always think like the epic mickey series is just so cool so this next game is actually a visual novel i'm changing it up a bit oh, it's an atome a romantic see a tome game or a romance fantasy it's called celestia chain of fate in celestia chain of fate you get to play as aria she is the creation of her mom is an angel her dad is a demon uh, she does not know that she is a hybrid of these two creations but she's the daughter of a duke a secret gets uncovered and she is now um attending a school where it's melding the hybrid of these two worlds together and you also have a choice from three romanceable characters the next game on the list this game is called lollipop chainsaw repop so lollipop chainsaw repop you get to play as juliet and she goes to school one day um and finds out all of her classmates have turned into zombies so juliet along with her boyfriend who is now a talking head um don't ask are both hacking and slashing through school to try to stop the zombie curse that has been inflicted on her high school and it's just all very so campy so raunchy like kind of giving me Bayonetta with cutesy high school girl by very fan servicey but I really like the girly pop good time I really am excited to be able to play this one because like I've always wanted to play and now it's finally here and it's got remastered and the last but not least and that is Zelda Echoes of Wisdom I honestly didn't expect that we get a new Zelda game this year but I'm really excited for this because Zelda finally gets to be the namesake to be the hero in her own game where her name is always present there's nothing wrong with link of course we all love link but i think it is interesting that they're changing it up a bit what i think is really interesting about this game is that they've carried over a lot of some of the gameplay mechanics from tears of the kingdom and also given a little of its own spin with zelda she has like a staff that lets her do things called echoes she can do echoes of enemies of rocks of objects random everyday objects and you can use those to help you solve puzzles along with this mysterious new creature called try who is helping you along the way as you try to save Hyrule. Hello, this is Editing Delaney. 
and I totally forgot one other game that I didn't realize was releasing this month until like after this video. <laughs> um, Chef RPG is releasing this month in early access and this is actually on PC only. So you are going to be a young chef who's been given the task of reviving La Sequoia, a once famous restaurant in White Ash Harbor. You begin your new life in this new beautiful seaside town which is once a thriving tourist destination. You can hunt, harvest, and shop for ingredients along the way and befriend fascinating locals and help revive the town as a tourist hotspot. Um, I i see there is a lot of cool elements in this game like the character design looks really cool and there's also like a lot of elements of like you could do a little bit of farming and there's also a little bit of gathering items and hunting things like that to like be able to create um in your restaurant so i'm really excited to see like how this will be an early access and um you also can romance characters as well and there's also like an element of like food critics and things like that so i'm really interested in this uh, even even though the name sounds like a placeholder name still but this seems like it'll be a really cool game once it does finally fully release but i'm pretty excited to try get to try this out in early release sheriff rpg has been on my list my radar for a little while and it's been delayed a lot so i'm actually pretty excited for this release so yeah that's the one i forgot <laughs> We're gonna get back to the video now <laughs> but yes that is all the games that are releasing in september that i'm really interested in let me know if there's any games that i didn't mention here that you guys are excited to see released in september let me know down below and i hope that you guys have a wonderful day as always and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye